Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Have you ever walked into a room and thought that you just can't do this and your heart races and races? Perhaps it's a job interview. Perhaps you're walking into an environment which you've never been in before. Perhaps it's to do with work. Perhaps it's to do with home life, personal life. You could be thrown into a situation. Health could be an emergency in the family. How many times have you ever had a situation thrown on you where you walked into something and you just feel in that moment that you cannot deal with it and you could just turn away or you feel as though you could just pull a cover over you and just say, do you know what, let this just please pass me by and I'll pick it all up again in a moment. Well, don't do that. You can deal with it. You have dealt with it. Keep going. Okay. You must do it. Because if you don't, okay, unfortunately, those scenarios build up on us. They affect us hugely they affect our well-being they affect our mental health and actually it may feel as though it's the easiest option you may feel as though you're doing yourself a favor however in the long run what you're actually doing is you're building almost like a wall and our mind is very very good at building those hypothetical walls around us thinking you're nice and safe you haven't got to deal with this or take the easy route. Now, sometimes, especially for mental health, taking the easy route and just kind of stockpiling those thoughts and those feelings and those situations and the things which life throws on us sometimes, because let's be honest, it happens to all of us. Everybody is going through something. But do you know what? If we don't do with it in the right way, and sometimes if we just stick our head in the sand, it just gets worse. And I don't mean the situation gets worse. I mean, unfortunately, it starts to affect you. It starts to affect your well-being. It starts to affect you emotionally. It can even exacerbate any physical issues which you might be dealing with in your life in terms of health or anything else going on. So please... And I say from past experience, you never, never know how strong you are. You don't know how much you can deal with because, honestly, you will surprise yourself. So if you walk into a situation, as I say, whether it be family, whether it be the worst possible emergency ever thrown on you, and I and I hope from my heart, and God forbid that ever, ever happens. But you know what? Sadly, life does happen. Remember, it's a fallen world we live in and we've got to do our best in this world to support one another, to take care of one another. It doesn't have to be family. We have to be supportive. We have to be courteous and understanding that everybody is going through something. And sometimes if you can tell that somebody's having a bit of a struggling moment, sometimes just as simple as, are you okay, is almost like opening the door to this person and they can step by step deal with it, they can face what they're going through because somebody's actually acknowledged in that moment, oh, you don't seem quite right. Are you okay? You don't have to go into everything. But just sometimes, and I found this when I've walked into a really difficult situation in my life before, if somebody just acknowledges you in that moment, it's almost that it, the reality just takes form. You're there in that moment. And whether if somebody says, are you okay? Or even, I've had it before, I can be going through the most horrible scenario, whether it be in my mind or I'm stressing and worrying about something. And sadly, I've had quite a few emergencies in my family where I've been in that situation. And I could have just hit the floor and thought, wow, life has just all too much me right now. But you can deal with it. You can and you must. And I'm not being nasty here but you must. Because the minute you say, I can't deal with this, and say, for example, you pull your hypothetical sort of blanket over you to think, I can't deal with this, and you turn away, or you turn the other way, again, hypothetically, and you're not dealing with it, what you're actually doing is you're causing yourself so much detriment to you, your well-being, your mental health. And you know what? The longer you put these things off, it gets harder and harder. Think of it this way. You're going through something in life, and sadly, unfortunately, you lose your job. You've been out of work, say, for a little while, and then you have an interview and you don't get it. Then you have another interview and you don't get it. Third time round, you get it. But you haven't been in that environment for so long, dealing with people, finding people uh, in terms of working relationships, how people work, building a team again. The first day you walk into that environment, and I can relate here because after a number of operations, I was out for quite a few months, but yet it wasn't a new job. But yet things had moved on so much that most of my team had left and moved on to different things. And there was just one or two people left. So I can relate. I do know what I'm talking about here. And you walk into a room and almost what you're wearing almost feels as though it's gone 100 degrees 
and you feel yourself almost like sometimes barely being able to breathe and it's anxiety it's your way of your body it's kind of that that flight mode where to go oh my goodness i've got to get out of here it's your body actually telling you that but actually you haven't you haven't got to get out of that you've got to deal with it you must carry on you must push through those walls you must and you will and you know the minute you do that the relief what comes over you and you might not get it instantly but when you walk out of that environment say for example you finish that day at work or you've sorted out the situation in the family or you come out of that emergency and hope to god that everybody's okay but you, when you walk out of that or when you walk out of that door again from whatever situation you're in the relief number one you grow you grow mentally you grow your well-being you grow your emotional strength what you can deal with you build this tolerance up almost to life not to be nasty or sour or or horrible but you build a tolerance to care and to be able to be more flexible and to be able to use your emotions to help others to build strength to share confidence to be able to take all the love what's poured into you and if you're a faith all the love which god pours into us you can keep pouring that into life in other people if you're not a faith have faith in yourself because you're an amazing you're a blessing in this world and just remember you've got to look after yourself before you can help others and and look after others so if you think you can't or you can't do of it now or you just can't cope my friend whoever you are out there you can slow down you can deal with this and you must because if you don't now it's going to get harder and harder and harder and you will reap the rewards of this you really really will let me share something with you to lastly finish this clip off i remember and my nan is my absolute world and i lost my nan on the 31st of may 2021 My name is my world and we got a very horrific phone call and I won't go into it in too much detail because a lot of my subscribers will know but I had to I had to walk into a room and see this person who I loved and was my absolute world and yet there was a nurse and a paramedic team was telling my mum cuz it's her mum and I was I was there we I was right there and they told us what had happened and i just remember the dread and the fear but yet i was with my nan all the time the dread and the fear walking into that room and i knew i had to but my mind was throwing all of these thoughts up just over and over and over and to be honest i was near enough going to be sick and i was near enough going to flake out but i knew i had to walk in that room i knew i had to and it's just you find that strength in these situations and i'm not saying for one minute that anybody needs to go through something as severe as that and as hard as that but life has a way of testing us life has a way of almost a hidden path of building all these life skills in us and sometimes just telling yourself do you not know no, i must do this i must push forward i must walk through these walls hypothetically i must get there i must break through at the other end of it you feel relief you feel strength you feel that you've grown as a person on so many levels emotionally mentally well-being that tolerance that life skill that that robustness to be able to think Do you know what i've conquered this Now I can help people. I hope you can relate to that. You can probably imagine I've done that a fair few times. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't make you a weakness. And let me just remind you: if you can't, and in a situation, and you can't right now, and you think to yourself, "I must do it," but I just can't for whatever reason, do you not? Know That's okay. But just don't do that all the time. Don't walk away all the time. For example, if it's a job, if it's a family situation, you know you need to be in that situation, and you think I can't deal with this, I can't do this. Yeah, it's okay for you to walk away, but just remember, for you to grow, for you to be involved, and for you to be current and in that situation, you must. So it's okay to not be able to do it right away, but don't keep making that mistake, because I would probably class that as a mistake, because. all of those things to be in that situation to grow to support to love others in that situation or to reap the rewards of that say promotion career development 
or whether it be to support a loved one, to be there in a in a nasty situation, or whether it be a hostile relationship, or whether it be so many things we all go through in this world, and just remembering that we all go through something. Okay, on that note, God bless, take great care. If you do have any questions at all, any queries, if you'd like to just mention anything to me at all, feel free. It's an absolute pleasure to receive your comments. It really does mean the world to me. On that note, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.